It was actually the BPI Awards that uh, we went to collect an award, and Geldof was at a few tables away and came over and said, how about doing this, this thing? And he said, we're going to have this and this and this and this. And we said, oh, yeah, I'm sure, you know, thinking that it was an almost impossible thing to get together. But we said, yeah, we'd be interested. And then a bit later on, he rang up and said, look, Brian, uh, I have to have a commitment, you know. Mm. And so we sort of talked about it a bit more. And uh, it seemed like we were all very keen to do it, you know. Is that because you support the cause and want to do your bit, or because it's such a unique rock event that you can't afford to miss out in a way? It's Good a bit, question. Yeah, Good question. Advice, actually. To answer that, honestly, it's a bit of both, actually, because I think um, it is a very good cause, and uh, initially I think we, we would have liked to have um, taken part in the Band Aid um, single, but I, I think we were in separate parts of the globe. And uh, so the second... Um, bash at it was, was this thing and also the fact that some of the biggest and best known groups around the world are taking part, why not us? So I think uh, it makes me personally proud to sort of be part of it. Actually. Is it difficult to choose numbers for a 20 minute set? Do you find that you have to stick to your best known numbers? Yes, we've just been talking about that. It's pretty hard to make the choice. It yes, we don't really concise. know quite, quite what to do, you know, whether to play the hits or or to try and do something new, but I think in 20 minutes, really, we've got to play things that people know and will recognise, you know, in, in Turkey or wherever they're watching, maybe. Hang on, hang on. <laughs> so we're still squabbling over that fact, that's what he's trying to say, yeah. You're known for the spectacle of your live performances, for the backdrops and the expansive lighting rigs. Is it going to be difficult to cope with the, the sort of sparsity of Wembley? Uh, well, it all comes down to if you can play or not, really, which is nice, really, <laughs> in a way, because... I think probably there's probably an element of people who think that groups like us can't do it without the uh, extravagant backdrop, but uh, we'll see, you know. <laughs> After 13 years, do you still get excited about this sort of live performance? This one especially, yes. It's great, yes. yes. We still like to play and fool around. And what about the number that uh, you two are going to be performing towards the end, towards the finale? What, what's the story behind that? Well, actually, it seems that... Um, it, it looks as if we actually wrote it for this occasion, but we didn't actually. It was, it was done a long time before that. It seems to fit the bill, actually. So I think um, they opted out and said, well, why don't the two of us... Because, I mean, during a Queen show, it's just the two of us that actually play, and R Roger and John actually go and have a drink or something. But uh, so, so we weren't really going to do that one, but it seems to be um, very sort of a part of the show. It's very meaningful, and um, so we're going to do it. Tell me a little bit about it. Oh, you tell me. Oh. Um, it came about when we'd almost finished recording the album The Works, actually. And we'd been throwing stuff off because there wasn't room for it. And in the end, we threw off so much that um, we said, there's a little hole here, it just needs something. And actually, Mac, who was producing us, um, said, well, why don't you do something really simple? You know, just, just write a song. And Freddie and I were there <coughs> late one night, and we, we just came up with this thing. It was very quick. And we just had this particular thing in mind, you know, the, the whole business of Africa was in our minds. And uh, that's the way it came out. Saturday is meant to be all for a good cause, and there aren't meant to be any egos involved. But oh, are so... No egos at all, no. But are so many superstars going to find it difficult in each other's sort of personal spaces? <laughs> Complete, totally impossible. It's going to be it's hilarious, going to be actually. Chaos. I think it's going to be chaotic, yes, yes. It has to be. I mean, we're not... We're not all wonderfully um, well-behaved kids are we it was just but that that's that's going to sort of actually be the nice part of it actually there'll be lots of friction and, and um we're all going to try and outdo each other i guess and uh well, we're just going to go and play that's right i mean you, you want to give something special really because that's what it's about you know, not the regular thing so everybody's going to be out there giving their best and that's what it's about make some money for those people that's as geldof says that's what it comes down to you know we can all have a great time and i think we will but it comes down to the fact that it's going to make tons of money and for a change, the money's going to go to the right place. Mm -hmm.